Today we will do what others won't, so tomorrow we can do what others can. Grab a ball, let's get to work. Today we're gonna do the first part of our workout inside. We're gonna take you outside and then we're gonna come back inside. First thing we're gonna do is ball handling. Okay, we've got some really good old school ball handling. We don't need any tricks today. We're just gonna have a ball and you guys get into work. Okay, we're gonna do 45 second workouts. You're on my call. First thing is a weak hand pound dribble. Okay, weak hand pound. I'm gonna bring you high and low. Ready, go. Okay, so you guys are doing this at home right now. Okay, I want you guys on your weak hand pound dribble, right around knee high, a little bit above the knee if you can. Keep your legs wide, keep your hips down, keep your eyes low. Now go low, I want fingertips. Go ahead, nice and low. Good, 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 good. Low, 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 pound those ball, pound that ball as fast as you can. Okay, use those fingers only. Okay, bring it up, knee high now. Good, now switch it over to your right. Good, good, so you're a little bit, bit above the knee. Okay, we're using good ball control and we're going nice and high. Good, and now we're going low. Good, fingertips only. Okay, really, really work, really, really work. We're getting our hands warm. We're getting ready to go for a really good workout today. And time, okay. So what I've got planned for you is these 45 second intervals with a 15 second break. So our next one is gonna be a pro style pound where you're cupping the ball and you're going over the top. Okay, so 45 seconds on the clock, pro style pounds, and go. Okay, we're starting with our weak hand. Kira's in her left hand and she's moving your hand all the way over the basketball and we're going to be here for about half the time. Okay, I want that ball ripping out of your hands. I want this a little bit louder in here. Okay, I want you really working. Okay, nice posture. I want those legs wide. I want those hips down. Okay, readjust if you have to. Switch sides. Good, good, good. Now we're moving that hand all the way over the ball. Okay, but we're not letting our hands slip underneath it. Good, good, good. We want that ball to be a little sticky in our hands, but then when it comes out of our hands, it's slamming into the ground as hard as we can. Good, and switch back. Good, good, keep those eyes up, keep those hips down, switch back. And time, good job. Perfect, okay, so now we're gonna add to it. We're gonna do a pound, and then we're gonna do a cross cross, okay? So your pound, cross cross. When you hear me say switch to a pro style pound at the halfway point, that means you're gonna palm the ball over on your pound and cross cross, okay? 45 seconds on the clock, pound, cross cross, go. Good, keep those legs nice and wide. I want good range of motion on your cross cross. When you expose that ball, it needs to be lightning quick. Okay, so stay low, stay wide and really rip your crossover. Very nice, very nice. If you're really good at this, you can get that crossover dribble all the way outside of your knees, okay? And then you just rip that thing back. Okay, switch to a pro style pound now. So your pro style pound, cross, cross. Very nice. <laughs> Keep ripping those crossovers. I know your legs are a little tired, you're starting to get to the end. You've only got five seconds left, but let's get the most out of this drill. Good, the way we've been working, time. Good, the way we've been working, this stuff should be easy. 45 seconds in a seated position with your legs wide and your hips low should be easy now, okay? 45 more seconds on the clock. Now we're on to our weekend. Pound, cross, cross. So you're switching hands. Ready, go. Pound, cross, cross. Good, again, try to get that pound dribble outside of your foot so when you do your cross cross, you're getting all the way outside your knees. I want good range of motion on your cross cross so that you're getting good ball control, but also understanding that when that ball's in front of you, it's exposed. You've got to rip that crossover. Okay, get those hips a little lower, get those legs nice and wide, and keep your eyes up. Okay, pro style, pro style pound, into an in and out. Good, good, good. Come on, push, push, push. Force yourself to go faster. If you're, miss, if you're losing the ball in your garage, sprint to go get it and get back into that seated position. Keep those hips down and time. Okay, good, you got a little time to rest your legs. Okay, we're going pound butterfly now, 
Okay? So butterfly is basically scissor dribble, but it's stationary. So we're going pound, butterfly, through the legs, through the legs, and then pound. Okay? 45 seconds on the clock. Pound, butterfly. Ready? Go! Good, good. Rip that ball through on your butterfly as quickly as you can. Good, good, good. A lot of ball control in the butterfly. Good, very nice, very nice. Way to slam your pounds. Good wide base. Hips nice and low. Eyes up. Good, keep working, keep working. And pro style pound, pro style pound. Good, 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 good. Ten more seconds. Keep those hips low. Good, good, good. Rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. And time. Good job. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to switch it over to the other side. I know it burns, okay? I know it hurts, but remember, take that pain in now. Set your goals so you can push through it, and then tomorrow when you're playing in games, the next time you get on the court, it'll be easy for you because you put in all that work, okay? You fought through all that pain so that it doesn't hurt anymore, okay? Same thing, okay? Nice, good, wide base, hips low, pound, butterfly. We're switching to the other side, 45 seconds. Pound butterfly, let's go. Rip your butterflies, rip your butterflies, get through as quick as you can. Good, good range of motion on these butterflies. I love it, I love it. Keep that ball moving. Stay focused. And fight through that pain. Fight through that pain and stay focused. Let's go, let's go. Okay, switch it, pro style, pound, butterfly. Pro style, pound, butterfly. Good, I like to think of these as kind of old school drills. These are the drills that I grew up to. We didn't have all those fancy tricks of throwing tennis balls in the air, two ball dribble. We didn't know about that stuff till later. Good, time. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so now we're gonna do a reverse butterfly. This one's a little bit more challenging, but again, that motion of bringing that ball back behind your back it's just so good for you. It's good for your behind the back dribble. It's good for your spin dribble. Okay, it's just great for your overall ball control when you can bring the ball back and forth. Okay, so now we're gonna do pro or now we're gonna do pound reverse butterfly. Okay, 45 seconds on the clock. Ready, go. Good. A little bit more challenging. Stay low, stay wide. Give me that good base. Okay, keep those eyes up. And if you make mistakes. Hey, that just means you're pushing yourself. That just means you're getting better, okay? Just go run that ball down as fast as you can and get back in the drill because we only have 45 seconds of work for each drill. Switch it to a pro style pound now. Good, good. Good, good, nice wide base, I like it, I like it. We're staying low, we're staying wide, and we're keeping those eyes up. Good, good, good. This one's probably the more challenging of the ones we do. But you're also going to get a ton of bit time. You're also going to get a ton of benefits from this. I know it slows you down a little because you're not going super fast. You might, you know, I mean, I know it burns, I know, but you're not really doing that fast hand stuff, okay? But this is good for us. This is going to make us better, okay? So we're going to go left, or we're going to go switch to the other side now. Pound, reverse butterfly. Ready, go. Good, good, faster, faster. Push yourself, push yourself. Good, good. Make sure you got that wide base. Keep those eyes up. Keep that pound dribble out on the side of your foot. Okay, you should be pounding that thing hard. Okay, get the, get the techniques right. We've already done the pounds. You've already got good, good at that. So don't start slipping. Now, now we do a pro style pound. Don't start slipping on the stuff we're already good at. Keep working, keep working. Every dribble is an opportunity to get better. Every time that ball slams on the floor, we're making ourselves a tiny, tiny bit better. And if we do it over and over and over, it's time. And if we're willing to put in the work and fight through the pain, okay, we're just gonna get better and better and better and better. And that's how you get better than the competition. That's how you get better than everybody else. Last one we're going to do before we go outside is we're going to do a pound behind the back, behind the back. 45 seconds on the clock. Pound behind the back, behind the back. Ready, go. Good, 
Good, good, good. Keep thumping those pound dribbles into the ground. Keep giving me a wide base. Keep giving me those hips up and keep those eyes up. And my goodness, you are going to be an incredible ball handler when this thing's all said and done. This is a great workout. Keep those hips low. Keep those hips low. Good, good. We're going to, we're going to do some ball handling and we're going to go outside. Switch it to a pro style pound now. We're going to do some ball handling, we're going to go outside, and we're going to do some shooting. We're going to come back in for the very end for a little bit of uh, overtime speed and agility. We're going to get a great workout in today. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Six seconds left, get the most out of it. And time. Good, good, good. Okay, so this is your last round now. we got a 15 second break, and then we're going to go pound, behind the back, behind the back. Okay? This is what separates... The really, really tough players. Can you still get low and work? Can you still fight through the pain? Can you still push even though you're starting to get fatigued and you're on your last round? Let's find out. 45 seconds on the clock. Ready, go. Good. Let's see if we're breaking mentally. Let's see if we're breaking physically. If we started with this, what would it look like? Good, good. Rip those behind the back. Stay nice and low. Fight through that pain. Good, 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 good. Keep your pound dribble out in front of you. There we go. Now pro style pound. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster hands, faster hands. Let's go. Let's go. Get the hips low. Let's go. Get to work, get to work. 10 seconds left. This is it for ball handling. Let's get to work. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And time. Okay, get yourselves ready to go outside to the court. Bring a cone with you, hit pause. Okay, when we come back, we're gonna do some shooting workouts. We'll see you then. Okay, we're all set up now. I've got two cones up top where the slots are, okay? I know a lot of our courts are different at home, the lengths and the variations, so just do whatever you can to simulate some of the concepts we're doing here. Doesn't necessarily matter exactly where they come from. The key to this is game shots, okay? We're gonna do 10 game shots, then five free throws. If you're doing game shots, then you're gonna be pretty gassed after 10 of them. And we're doing game shots so that we can get good at shooting in games. We're not just gonna come out here and shoot around and shoot 100 shots with our feet planted in the ground because we're never gonna get that shot in a game, okay? We've gotta take game shots, we're gonna be tired, we're gonna be moving, but it's gonna pay off, okay? First one we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way around the slots and to the outside, okay? We're gonna work, use inside out steps, okay? I'm gonna have Kira show us. She's spinning the ball back to herself as soon as she gets around the cone. And then she's working inside out step. So when she goes this way, she's going left, right. Perfect. And then when she comes around the cone closer to us, she's going to be going right, left. Okay. Doesn't necessarily matter where your spin ends up. I want you to hunt that ball. I want you to go get it. And I want your footwork to be perfect. And after 10 of these, you're going to be gassed. So we're going to go to the free throw line and shoot five. As soon as you're done, Okay, come back and hit play again. So right now I want you to hit pause. I want you to go do the workout and then we'll see you when you're done. Okay, Kira has one more free throw left and then we're gonna do very similar routine. We're just gonna go over the outside of our slots and work our way back inside. So both of these shots are gonna come right around the free throw line, okay? Um, variate where you shoot it from. It doesn't exactly matter where it comes, but you're coming over the outside of the cone, working inside out steps, okay? Exact same stuff, you're just coming at different angles now. So you're gonna shoot 10, five going each way, and then you're gonna shoot five free throws. Okay, go ahead and hit pause, and when you're done, come on back, and we'll get, we'll get you ready for the next workout. Okay, Kira's finishing up her last free throw now. Okay, when she gets done with this, she's gonna go right into our rip series. Our rip series is gonna be one dribble pull-ups working on the same inside out step. Okay, so she's gonna catch the ball, hold the position when you catch it. She's on the right slot right now. She's stepping towards the defense and protecting the ball by bringing it back. Now, if they continue to put pressure, we're gonna go right at them with a rip, okay, into a one dribble pull-up. 
okay? So you're ripping that ball, going right into an inside out step, one dribble pull up. Now, after you shoot that shot, you're gonna come to the left slot and this one's gonna be a rip rip. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna rip and then rip back in the other direction into a one dribble pull up going left. You're gonna do five on each side. Okay, then you're gonna shoot five free throws and then you're gonna come back for the next video. I'll let you watch a couple more of these if you're not sure exactly how to do this at home. So protect, rip, rip, into a one dribble pull, okay? One more. When we're going right, we're just doing a rip because she's a right-handed player. Protect, rip, one dribble pull up. Very nice. Okay, she's got two more free throws, okay? So um, when we get rolling here on the next one, here's the thing I want you to focus on a little bit more. So now that you're starting to get that rip action down, okay, I want you to try to get a little bit farther away from the defense, okay? When we're beating them with just a rip, rip, if we're only separating three or four feet, they're still gonna be close enough to block your shot. I want you to get away. I want you to get all the way to 15 feet. I want you to get a piece of the paint. Okay? I want you to get as far away from, the, from them as you can so that when you go to pull up, okay, you've, you've already beat them. And now you're just pulling up before the help side gets there. Okay? So now we're going to the inside. Okay? So when she's on the left slot, she's going towards the middle, towards the free throw line. And we should be shooting right around the nail. Okay? That's a good look right there. She got about five to six feet of separation in that one dribble. Okay, on this side, she's rip-rip because she's a right-handed player. Again, trying to work her way all the way to the nail. Okay, getting a piece of the paint, getting a toe touch, anything we can to separate from the defense. Okay, shoot 10, five free throws. Okay, and then for the next drill, we'll be back in the garage. We'll see you then. Okay, we're back in the garage. Okay, we're gonna end this with just a little bit of speed and agility. Okay, it might be grueling, but we're only gonna do a few things. Okay, we're gonna really, really push in the time that we have but we're also not gonna do very many of these. So we've got four exercises, 30 seconds on each one. First thing we're gonna do is ski jumps, okay, where you're jumping all the way across, catching yourself on the other side, okay, and then exploding back. Go ahead and stick your landing, okay, hold that landing for just a count so you can explode to get back. We're working on lateral movement for 30 seconds. Ready, go. Good, good, good. If you've got spots on the floor that you can pick out, that you can really try to push yourself to get to, do that, okay? That will keep you moving hard. That will keep you pushing yourself to get into those spots so that you're not just mailing this in, okay? You, you're almost done. You got 10 seconds left. Let's get the most we can out of our ski jumps. This is great lateral movement. Good stuff, good stuff, and time, okay? The next thing we're gonna do, you got a little break while I talk to you, okay? You're gonna start with your legs together and we're gonna do side lunges, okay? So we're gonna reach out and we're gonna get nice and low with our hips, okay? Bring it back and then we're going to the other side, okay? Same thing, nice and low, get your hips down, keep your back straight, okay? And do the best, best form we possibly can so we can get the most out of it. 30 seconds and go. Side lunges, get yourself a nice deep burn. I want you to get a little lower than that. Good, good, very nice. Keep that back straight. Okay, keep pointing your toes forward. Good stuff, good stuff. Get a nice deep burn. Again, we're, uh, we're, we're really stressing lateral movement. So let's get the most out of this. One more time. And time, okay? Now we're gonna do our Spider-Man stretch. Okay, you're gonna get in the plank position. Right foot up to your right hand. And ready, go. We're gonna do 15 seconds on each side. Let's try to keep that back straight. Keep your body strong in this position and get a good solid stretch. And we're gonna switch it to the other side. Good. Good. Just 10 more seconds on this. And time. Okay, go ahead and stand up. Last one we're going to do is we're going to work on some explosive movement. Okay, we're going to have a nice wide base. When we land, we're going to catch our feet. We're going to catch ourselves with really soft feet. We don't want to be loud when we land. We don't want our feet slamming into the ground. You're going to jump all the way up. Try to get your knees to your chest. 
or your knees to your hand, okay? Get as high as you can, and then stick the landing. Get as high as you can, stick the landing. As high as you can, stick the landing. You got 30 seconds on the clock, do the best you can. This is our last workout of today. Ready, go. Good, good, good. After you stick the landing, explode right back up. You can use your hand, hands to swing your body up. Good, keep going, keep going. You're almost halfway there. Good, very nice, very nice. Keep pushing girls, keep pushing. Land with a wide base. When you start your jump, your hips should be low. Five, four, and time. Good job, good job. Good workout today. Hey look, we went a little over 20 minutes. We did, I'm not sure if you guys can hammer that out quicker because of all the pauses. But we got a great ball handling workout in. Okay, we got really, really good game speed shots in. So we shot 40 shots and then we shot 20 free throws when we were tired. Okay, then we came back in the garage, got a little quicker, got a little better laterally. Okay, that's a really, really good workout today. Nice job. We'll see you tomorrow on the daily workout.